James from Bio Hi, it's James from Biovia, um, formerly Accelerus. I was asked by one of the users of my draw add-ins to do a, a quick uh, sort of tutorial stroke demo of some of the reaction tools. Um, there are essentially three reaction related tools in the, the, the group of add-ins that currently exist for Accelerus Draw. Uh, so there's an, an enumerate tool uh, a tool called Reaction Component Viewer, which simply takes the, the molecules from uh, a, a fully drawn out reaction and uh, converts them into an NSD file so you can look at the properties more easily. And, and then the Reaction Stoichiometry Calculator, which is associated with this Reaction Stoichiometry Reagent Dictionary. So I'll, I'll go ahead and show you how these work. So I'll start off with the, react, the uh, Reaction Enumerator. So I'm going to open up um, an existing reaction, uh, one that needs to be enumerated. It's got R groups defined in it. And this is a, a Fischer indole synthesis. So I've loaded the reaction, and if you were observant before, you would have noticed that the the enumeration menu was disabled because there was nothing on the canvas that it could enumerate. Now it's detected a reaction that it can enumerate, and it's going to go and uh, open up for me. So now I've got this nice reaction enumerator dialog. I need to load in some uh, data for uh, the, the hydrazine and the ketone uh, so that we do that in the form of SD files. So I can go in and import reactants. And there we've got the hydrazine SDF and it switches tabs and I can go and import the ketones. Now it does some interesting trickery while it's loading these in it goes off and checks to see whether these compounds are available using the discovery gate web service so it's telling me that these some of these reactants are available and um, it also if I hover over there it tells me what databases they're actually in so now I've, I've, I've loaded all the data that needs to be loaded um, I could if I wanted to add some extra reactants at this point I could define some exclusion rules I'm not going to there's also an options menu where I can have, there are some settings uh, and some enumeration options. I'll leave those at their defaults for now. So if I click on run enumeration, it very rapidly enumerates those reactions. Uh, and now we can see a, a grid of all the products. Uh, you might guess that the, the discovery gate icon in the corner of these of the grid cells indicates that these are available to buy uh, products. And, um, I can also uh, navigate up here and the, the grid is linked in. As with the, the reactant view, I can hover over and see what databases these things are in. Uh, there's also a reaction view, um, so I can navigate through and look at the different reactions that have been created. Uh, and I can save the results of the enumeration out to disk. So I can do a, I'll do a save as, and I can either choose to export the products as an SDF or I can create a, an Accenture for Excel sheet, or I can create an enumeration archive. And the enumeration archive contains everything that I've used to create this this uh, this enumeration. So it's got the reaction with the R groups. It's got the SD files of reactants, and it's got the uh, enumerated uh, reaction products. So that's pretty useful. Um, so that's that's how the uh, the reaction enumerator works. I'm going for the next. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to copy this reaction and uh, close this dialog, and I'll create a new tab, and I can paste that reaction in. Let's use the reaction component viewer next. So uh, let's go and use it. Now you notice again, this one has no enumeration centers, so the enumerate reaction menu is is grayed out now. But I can use the reaction component viewer just to cut a click. So it's it's figured out that there are three components in this reaction, two reactants and one product, and it pops up the reaction component viewer. So I can look at the different properties. It it's uh, the, it generates some data um, again using things like the discovery gate lookup. Um, so I can flick through here. And view the uh, 
those parts of the reaction there. Okay, so for the last uh, the last piece of this, which is the stoichiometry calculator, um, I need to add some text here above the reaction arrow. So I'm going to put THF. I'm going to imagine that this this reaction is executed in THF. That's the kind of shorthand nomenclature uh, shorthand that a chemist uses um, when they're doing their you know day-to-day -day task. They, they might put reaction conditions and, and things like that above or below the reaction arrow. And that's indicative of this being the solvent that's used to do this reaction. But when you're actually doing a reaction, you need to know how much solvent's needed. So I can go in now and click in the chemistry menu again and choose the uh, reaction stoichiometry calculator. And there we see this is, looks exactly like what we've got up here but look it's got a solvent column um, and it even in the in the, the 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 reaction stoichiometry reagent dictionary we can define uh, solvents I'll show you that in a minute but that's where it's getting this density from so what I can begin to do now is uh, say that we're going to start off with five say 50 milligrams of that material and it works out that we'll actually need 4.822 milligrams of, of this material. Um, and then if we say uh, we're going to use uh, 100 milliliters of THF, it works out how many moles and so forth that is. And over here, it's calculated what the, the expected mass is for the, for the product. Um, and if we say, well, no, we're 70 milligrams, then it works out what the yield is. And we can even say, well, we got 70 milligrams, but when we measured it, it turned out it was only 75% pure. And that does all the yield calculations for you over here, and the actual product mass, the number of product moles. And uh, you can create a report in here as well. Um, but those, those are the three... Uh, add-ins that are available for, for for working with reactions. I'll very quickly show you the, the dictionary that that's using in the background. So that's the reaction stoichiometry reagent dictionary. Um, here it is. So we, we, we define uh, lists of reagents. They can be solvents, catalysts, or, or actual involved in the reaction um, reagents. Uh, and if I scroll down, you'll find there's THF. That's where it got the density from. That's where it gets the structure from. Um, and this is a, a dictionary that you can maintain and add to. Um, and that's essentially it. So thanks for listening. Um, if you're interested in any of these add-ins, please contact james.jack at 3ds.com.